That highlight though. Oh. Let's just stop and stare at that for a minute. Oh. Yes, honey. Don't mind my uh, wet sock bun. I just took a shower, but I got my Christmas sweater on. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a talk through tutorial for what I believe is the quintessential classic holiday makeup look, which if you saw the little clips beforehand is a winged liner in a red lip. This is my go-to holiday look. It has been for years and years and years. I think it is the easiest and the most classic. It goes with any outfit for any occasion, anything. It's just the perfect total holiday look. So it's going to be a talk through tutorial. So I'm going to walk you through each of the steps of me getting ready. Um, I decided to do this one as I talk through um, because I had previously filmed it, um, but I've had <sighs> been under the weather, which is why it's taken so long to actually get rolling on filming these tutorials that I promised you guys. Um, I had bronchitis and the flu and mother nature decided to come at the same time. It's just been a real big hot mess here but finally everything's starting to clear up my voice doesn't sound horrible and I decided this is an easy enough tutorial that I can just walk you through it super fast and I thought it'd be fun to do a talk through I haven't done a talk through tutorial in a while so anyways let us get started and if you want to see how to get this look then keep watching all right, so the first thing that I am going to do is going to be my brows. As if you watch my tutorials, I typically always start with my brows. If you want to see a more in-depth brow tutorial, let me know. All I'm going to be using today is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Brunette. This has been kind of my go-to lately. Um, I've been really liking it a lot. So all I'm going to do is take this bad boy and this is just a um, angled liner um, brush from Sephora. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills makes one. There's a ton of companies that make one. Just any kind of angled liner. And then this is just a spoolie brush. I actually got this in an e.l.f. Um, kit. Uh, and I've just kept it around to use as a spoolie before I do my brow. So that's first thing I'm going to do is just brush my brow so that they're all going in the same direction and not flopping all over the place. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who doesn't have brow hairs right here that go straight up. Like mine all naturally go to the side. Does anybody else have that? Is it just me? I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out onto the brush and just brush through the brow and I'm just following the brow hairs. This is definitely kind of a bolder brow which I like typically especially when doing a brighter lip just to kind of balance the face. To me doing a bold brow just kind of brings symmetry to all of it and in general I just don't mind walk rocking a bold brow. And I'm going to take my spoolie and brush through to get out any clumps, any unevenness. Now that my brows are filled in, I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Gel. This is just the clear formulation, and I'm just gonna brush this through to freeze everything in place. Next, I'm going to prime my face, and I'm gonna use two primers. I'm gonna first use you can't see it when it's over there. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I mentioned this in a favorites video. It's just a primer water. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. You just spray your face and it's supposed to prime your face. I just like doing this to add a little bit of a refresher. And then next I am using the Avance Mattifying Emulsion. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I think this was my last month's Ipsy bag. I'm pretty sure this was in my November or my October. I think it was November. Um, but I've actually been really liking this, just using it as a primer to mattify the face. So I'm going to go in with this bad boy. So for foundation today, I am going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I am in C2, which isn't the palest shade, but it's pretty darn close. Um, and I've actually done a first impression kind of in-depth uh, look into this. Um, I'll leave the link for that video down below. I did that actually a couple months ago. Um, but this is probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations just because it does. I don't get oily throughout the day wearing it. Um, and it gives really nice full coverage, um, but it's very natural. It's not super mattifying, and sometimes I like to have a little bit more of a natural look. I'm just going in with the Real Technique sponge, and I'm just going to, once I open this mirror so I can see what I'm doing, bounce this on my face. 
when I just kind of place it in random areas and then go in and bounce it. And then you can always, of course, use the Beauty Blender sponge. I love that one. Um, I mentioned this Real Techniques one in my November's favorites. Um, I've just been liking this one a lot just because it's a little bit of a cheaper alternative. So when I feel like it is pretty even, I'm going to go in next with the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is a number 10 fair, and I'm going to use this to cover up blemishes and things of that case because I have quite a few because, you know, that time of the month and stuff. This is just a flat eyeliner brush again from elf i just use it as a concealer brush to lay on the concealer i don't actually use this to blend it in um but i find this a little bit easier and less messy than using my hands as far as laying the concealer down then i'm just going to go back in with the beauty blender sponge and I feel like I have enough coverage from that. Now I'm going to go into actually highlighting the face with a concealer. And I'm going to actually use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is their Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Fair Neutral, which is the lightest shade that they carry. Um, a lot of people on YouTube have talked about this ever since it came out. I think it launched this year. Um, uh, this is actually my first time really trying it and using it. So this is kind of a first impression. With this product, I decided to give it a go. So it just has a Dofa applicator, and I'm going to use this under my eyes for a brightening effect. So I just do that in a triangle kind of like shape, looking like I got a mask on. And I prefer doing my highlighting in steps rather than letting it set since this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer. So then I'm gonna take my Real Technique and blend it in. Wow, that blended in really fast, like really well. And I also forgot to mention, I do use the Real Techniques Damp um, for the Beauty Blender. You're only supposed to use it damp. For the Real Techniques, it says you can use it dry or damp. I prefer using it damp just because it helps blend the product in better. So now I'm just going to keep this in the center of my face, go down the bridge of my nose, in the center of the whole forehead, kind of in a chicken claw fashion, like so, looking extra fleeky, and then just do it in the middle of my chin, like so. And then again, blending that in. So now that we got all that blended in, I am going to go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm going to use the beige highlight, which is the lightest highlight right here. And I'm going to use that to set my under eyes in the center of my face and all that concealing areas. So I'm just going to use, this is just a small contour brush from Sephora. I really like this for under the eyes just because it really gets in under there in a precise manner. So the next thing I'm going to do is using that same contour palette I'm going to go in with the medium contour shade and I use that as a kind of a bronzer and I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. This is the 100 brush which is the fluffy powder brush. I picked this up recently. Ulta had a 20% off coupon and this brush is a little bit on the pricier side but I thought this would be perfect for bronzing and I have not been disappointed. So I'm going to go in into my forehead and just sweep this on. Um, and this is a good kind of a middle shade to use for that. And so then I'm going to do the same on my cheek and go in a kind of a circular motion. Get that bronze on though. And then I don't add additional product when I'm doing it on my chin and my jawline just because for me that tends to get really dark really quick. So I just go in like that. I'm going to take the Tarte, this is the contour blender brush, 
and I'm gonna go in on top and really blend out the cheek contour. The NARS Eda brush and go in with that same medium contour shade and this is what I'm gonna use to contour my nose just because it's a little bit smaller and more precise and I don't want it to get super messy. Then I'm going to actually take the deep contour shade from this palette, which a lot of people don't like using. I don't know why. I just, I've been using it for a while and I love it. So all I'm going to do is I just take this directly into the hairline with the NARS Eda brush and I just work that in that area and go in with the bigger brush to blend it out. And again, with the contour brush, I love this contour brush. It just blends everything together really nicely. It makes everything look super smooth. All right, so now that I got my contouring done, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Holidays blush palette, and I am going to take the shade Fetching, and I'm gonna use that as my blush. This is more of like a plummy brush, blush, not brush, blush color, um, but when I'm going in with something that's a little bit brighter, such as a berry or a red lip, I kind of like the blush to match a little bit just because it kind of balances it out and it doesn't make the lip look so heavy. So I'm just going in with is a It Brushes. This is the number 27 Flawless Brush Blush. Blush Brush. I'm just going to use this and concentrate it on the apple of my cheeks. I say it's okay to go a little heavy on the blush because the cheeks are the first products to go on the face. It's the easiest and the quickest to disappear. So if you go a little heavy, I think that's okay, especially if you're doing holiday parties and events and things like that where you're going to be out all night, things like that. You want the blush to last as long as possible and these tart blushes are excellent for that. And then if anything, I just go in with a fluffy powder brush kind of blend in that area so it doesn't look so dramatic but you can still see the color now next for highlighting I do a two-step process with my highlighting first I'm gonna go in with the model and co trio and I'm gonna use this highlighting color this is in pink champagne and I'm just gonna take my middle finger and then put that on top of the cheeks and just dab that there I like going in with a cream and then a powder highlight just because it makes the highlight last longer and it makes it pop a little bit more. This cheekbone's really gonna be popping though. You can take the powder and stick a little bit on the tip of the nude, I'm sorry, the cream, and a little bit above the cupid's bow just to act as a base. And then I'm going to go in, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pore in the shade Pearl. This is actually a new release. If you got the Jaclyn Hill Glow Palette, this was the lightest color in the palette. Ulta has come out with the poured version. Sephora has the pressed. I'm still waiting for the pressed version to come into the mail, but I do have the poured version I picked up at Ulta. So all I'm going to do is take a fan brush and the major difference between the poured and the pressed versions I've found is that the poured works a little bit um, more creamy. So all I'm going to do is just work a fan brush on it and then go over the tops of the cheekbones. Like so. The top of the brow. This is honestly, if you are fair like me, you want to get your hands on this highlight because it is just the perfect white color with just the tiniest tiniest bit of gold so it doesn't look too pinky silver it runs a little bit more champagne gold but it's much lighter than sh champagne pop then if you want to be extra extra i like taking the mac fix plus and whatever brush i'm using and dowsing that bad boy in it and then going back in with the highlighter and picking more product and going in on top and this is just going to give you an extra wet look with your highlight and just make it extra beaming and you can do this with any highlight another highlight i really like using is the anastasia beverly hills illuminator in starlight it's very similar to this a little bit more gold than this one is also the Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow and Thunderstruck. Again, a little bit more gold than this. This is more of a true white highlighter than a gold white, 
but I still think all any three of those, especially if you're fair, are super pretty. So now that we got pretty much all of the face done, we're going to move on to the eyes. And I'm first going to prime with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I've been using this primer for a while now. It's probably my favorite so far. Then what I'm going to use for shadow today, it's a pretty simple shadow look since the focus is supposed to be on the eyeliner and the lip. So I'm just going to go in with the Laura Pro palette and I'm going to start with the shade Taupe. Just any kind of mid-tone brown shade will work. That's more on the neutral side. And I'm just going to go and put that as my transition crease color. And I am using this blending natural hairbrush from Smashbox. This actually came in the full exposure palette. And I just, I hated that palette, but I love this brush. I have used this brush nonstop. I'm addicted to it. So I'm just going to go in into the crease and blend. The easiest thing to do when you're trying to do your crease is keep your eye open. Because what happens when we close our eyes, our crease disappears. So by keeping the eye open, the natural crease kind of shows and your brush is going to naturally fall into it. Also, if you have smaller eyes or hooded eyes, like I kind of have a mixture of both, sometimes you want to go a little bit above the crease so it actually gives the appearance of a crease being there even though there technically isn't. So I go a little bit above my natural crease just to make it look like I have a little bit bigger lid space. All right. So the next, I'm going to take this as the MAC... Uh, 224 blending brush and I'm going to go in with espresso so just any kind of deeper chocolatey brown and I'm going to use that on the outer portion of the crease to kind of deepen it up just because I like a little bit of a deeper crease so I'm not going to take it above mid lid again keep the eye open and just blend it in that windshield wiper motion to get it all blown out and next I'm going to do the lid color. I'm going to take nude, which is kind of like a shimmery beige color. You could also go in with cream, which is a matte. I like a little bit of shimmer just to kind of help brighten up the look, brighten up the lid. So I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. And then go back in with this blending brush to make sure that it didn't get too high up in the crease. This has just a little bit of shimmer which brightens the lid up just a little bit, makes it a little bit more festive. And then just blend, blend, blend. All right, and then a final step. You don't necessarily have to do this since we are going in with winged liner, but something I like to do, I'm gonna take this black shade and I'm just using a shorter kind of stubby brush. This is from the Urban Decay The Naked 2 palette brush. And I'm going to concentrate this solely on the very most outer corner of the eye and just shade it in in kind of a V shape. I'm not going to bring it up high or anything like that. I'm going to take the same MAC blending brush and just blend it in that corner without dragging it anywhere. Just adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more richness without making it too too dark and as a final step i'm going to take a little bit of the black and i'm going to use this smudge brush and i'm going to go in the very outermost corner of the lower lash line and just really work it in there and just leave it like that i don't want to smoke this look out too much because that's not the focus of it i just want a little bit of depth underneath the eyes just to kind of connect the look together. Rudolph, won't you guide my sleigh? All right, next I'm going to take the MAC Cool Eyeliner Pencil and Feline, and I'm going to use this to do my uh, tight line and waterline my eyes. So I'm just going to lift the top lash like so. Just work it in. This just helps darken the lash a little bit. My eyes are feeling super watery today. All right, so I'm going to go in with, this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, which is more of a kind of um, brush and pot liner. So I'm gonna use this to create my wing. So for starters, I'm going to start by mapping out the wing. So I'm just gonna take the liner and work from the lower lash line and pull it up like that. 
and then about that halfway point between the total of that, drag that towards the top lash line, and then work up from there. And kind of fill in the wing as I go. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and complete the rest, just dragging a line across. Now we're going to go and do the other eye, same thing, starting from the lower lash line, dragging it up, going about halfway and pulling it in, and just working it from there. So now that we got our liner strong enough to cut a bish, we are going to go in with a little mascara because I am going to use false lashes. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm going to go in with the Benefit the They Are Real mascara and I'm going to use that for my lower lashes. I use this for my lower lashes because it is smudge proof. And I don't have to worry about it flaking. So for the lashes today, I'm going to go in with the Juvis, Juvius Annabelle lashes, which are more of a spaced out, kind of flared out lash, just for a little bit more of a dramatic look. You can use a lot of different lashes. Um, obviously, since this is a little bit thicker liner, I do want a lash that supports it. So I'm going to use this one because it is a little bit thicker. Like that. All right, and the lashes are on. So the final step, second and final step, is going to be the lips. So I am going to go in with the um, flower lip liner. This is, I think, in just cherry red. This is Drew Barrymore's line that you get at Walmart I think looking like the Joker so next to finish the lips I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill liquid lipstick in bloodline which is kind of a true blue red So yeah, anyways, that is it. That completes this look. This is in my apartment problems. This to me is the classic go-to holiday look. It's perfect for any kind of outfit, anything you wanna wear, any event you have to go to. It's pretty easy holiday looks considering it's just a little bit glamified. And so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a thumbs up to see more. Be looking out for my next and upcoming holiday tutorials. So follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at Hopeful Forever. I'll leave the links down below. I'll leave a product list down below because I got you guys. I got you. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video.